Hi guys, I am Ashutosh and today I am back with another tutorial on design. So today we will learn how to make this kind of 3D text over a uh, similar kind of artboard with the same color. So this type of text many people uh, don't know how to do it. But the technique here is to give shadows to create a 3D text. You can have of course different kinds of 3D text like uh, 3D in terms of being out of the surface or being inside the surface or uh, something like that and you can handle that using shadows so today we'll go, we are going to make the same kind of text here itself in the similar window in the similar kind of window so i'll demonstrate to you so we'll reverse engineer this and we'll make another one like this one so first of all let me create a new rectangle over it so I'll copy the rectangle and I'll paste it behind it. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll create, a, we'll write a text over it. So the text will be uh, create text in 3D. I, I'm sure you may not be able to see the text because the font size is very small but that is not a problem we'll handle that okay sorry not hash d 3d and the font i want is product sans black sorry i have to select it product sans black now and i'll make it centered yeah so uh still it's not fitting so what we'll do is we can move it into another line now i think it fits well yeah so now what we'll do is first of all <coughs> first of all we what we want to do is we are, we'll copy the same text copy and paste it over itself so now if you see we have two texts of the same and we'll paste both of them at the same place why because we want to give shadow so if you see in this text there is a shadow white kind of shadow whitish kind of shadow over uh, the over the left side and upper body of the text and there is a black kind of shadow on the lower body and the writer part of this text and that is why we are uh, like getting this kind of a beautiful look of 3d text it's nothing but just shadow so we'll do the same thing so and uh, the limitation here is that we can only give one type of shadow for a text so that's why we are taking two texts so that we'll give lighter shadow to one text and we'll give darker shadow to another text now we'll take uh, the color of the our rectangle that we have have and we'll assign the same color to both of the text we have so just select from the layers and go to fill and just replace it uh, do the same thing for other text also we don't see the text now so uh, and now we'll give the shadows so that we can see the text so what we'll do is i'll select the text which is the above one like in in front and i will enable the shadow and i will give the some values for x y and blur so what these three values are x means the value of x where the shadow will lie so how much right part in if you see any of the uh, this text how much uh, portion of the right part the shadow should come and what is the blur so if we see this so if we see this the text in the front has 0x y3 and blur 6 so if i give let's say minus 10 and minus 5 and 20 so what it means is it will give shadow Kind of you can see like a little bit text here so it will try to create a shadow in the x direction it till minus 10 
and in the y direction till minus 5 minus 5 means bot uh, like bottom and minus 10 means left and uh, it will try to create a blur of 20 blur means it will like fade the sum of the color of the shadow now we can assign the color to the shadow as well so we'll assign kind of this type of color this color i've got from trial and error so of course you can play around with it and you can change colors and you can see the how it looks in other colors also we'll like uh, this is like transparency so we'll remove some transparency uh, uh we'll make it half transparent so i'll make it 50 percent so now you can see that our like text is like starting to coming into picture so we now understand what is what has been written here so it is written create text in 3d we have uh, given a shadow to the uh, to the text which is in front now we'll give the shadow to the text which is backward to this text okay but for that actually we have to give the shadow which is completely opposite to this shadow and uh, the color is also opposite so here uh, we can see that we have given a shadow of some whitish color so now uh, in the text which is backward we'll give the shadow of a darker color and we'll give the shadow in the direction which is completely opposite to this one so that's why it will look like a 3d uh, uh, so that it will complement the lighter shade so first i'll select the text in the backward and you can select it in the layers tab uh, you may not be able to select that uh, directly from the artboard but you can select that in uh, in the lay from the layers now go to the shadow and enable shadow now we'll make shadow as kind of uh, completely opposite to the other text so we'll give here 10 5 and 20 and we want to give a shadow color as uh, like black but it is already black but we want to remove the transparency so we'll make it completely 100 so now you can see that we have got our final text which is a very cool looking 3d text so like that you can create a 3d text for your project or for your design work wherever you want so this is a 2d artboard but we have created a 3d text over it just using shadows no other techniques used at any point in time but uh, make sure that you are giving enough amount of shadows or uh, you are not using like too much blur over it otherwise it will look pretty bad and one thing to note about uh, uh, note here is that as the size of artboard increase we have to increase the x and y and blur values of the text over it over it and similarly as the size of the artboard decrease we have to decrease the x y and blur of the shadows so just keep that in mind and then increase the shadow or decrease the shadow based on the your artboard size so that you will get a best 3d text possible so that's it for today guys i i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new uh, like share and comment on the video and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, you can also support me on patreon.com. I have given the link in the description box below. If you have any questions, uh, I can answer you questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me or if you want to include me uh, in your project, then you can take any memberships on my Patreon page. The link is given in the description box below. I'll be back with another tutorial next weekend. Till then, stay safe.